Welcome back. It's Malsiv once again. This time, I've been playing with a little bit of redstone uh, to accommodate one of my new loves. I am a big, big fan of the crimson in all its glory. The, 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 the crimson warp blocks, the crimson stems, the uh, glow shrooms are also really nice. So I wanted to find a way to get those a little more quickly. Um, also, um, playing online on a server, sometimes you want to help out or server mates. So let's get into what I came up with. And I'm sure there's there's some cool tutorials out there. <laughs> Maybe cooler than this. I don't know. I like mine. So um, this is something I just sort of popped into my head and I decided to run with it. So the idea being is uh, that block, yes, that's netherite. That block is where the player would stand and they would plant in this center area here between the dispenser and the observer. Now, the nylium is currently set on the warped nylium. You can swap that out for crimson uh, because you do have to match. So you can see this guy will grow on this and this guy will grow on this and not the other way around. Now, you'll know, you may have noticed that inside are two nylium blocks. One has a wall on top of it. That is so that this remains nylium. If, when this tree glows, it grows, it isn't removed before it changes, because it can happen, it's pretty rare, but it can change back into nether rack, and if it does, all you need is some bone meal, and as long as it's next to it, it'll change back. So that is why there are two blocks here, and if you want to switch over to the crimson, you'll just switch out for crimson nylium. Otherwise, leave it unwarped, and use a warped fungus. The obsidian behind it is in case uh, that sticky piston hasn't been cleared. I don't want this to push back because that will then break the system. Um, you can see that the dispenser here runs all the way around into this guy, which is full of bone meal. And that lever here pushes up that observer to face that one, which will then tick that dispenser. So that is just bone milling like crazy. So when you're standing uh, inside, you just have to plant on that inner one. This will grow it up. This will then see the change. And when it does, it'll get up a little redstone toot into the repeater set uh, almost all the way on delay. And then those light up, which will power that block, extending that sticky piston. So it'll pull that bottom out. And then this observer is going to fire because it'll see that light up. And right after this retracts, this pushes and all of those pieces get pushed over here. When they do, it'll get to the end of this, which will update this wall. It'll automatically connect when this gets there. The observer will see that change, send a little signal into here, repeat all the way around and light all of those pistons up which will push them into here. Um, now, ideally, what you'll also do is you're going to have to connect hoppers all along uh, underneath. Or... <laughs> all right, we're back. I rectified the issue I had before. I like this layout a little bit better. So we've got flowing water coming from the back and that will flow down into those hoppers. Even when this extends, it will not mess up water coverage. There's a shell down here around this just to make sure that nothing goes wrong. And we can actually test that uh, real quick. And it's important to test your things. So if this were to be on there, It does explode down, but not enough to get past that obsidian. So that's why that's on there. And of course, um, that's as deep as that can go. So we're going to do that. And OK, so that was a quick test just to make sure your life is grand. So now as those come up out of the water, the TNT that's going to drop down is going to be able to uh, take out those blocks. Also, Here's the fun part. When these grow, they're going to grow from here and up. They don't replace blocks. 
So whatever you have up here, this ceiling, and you can change it out for any item you want, these pistons, the redstone, any of this, if it were to try to grow beyond this area, and they will grow up to seven by seven uh, for the, the largest, most of them are around five by five. But it will not interfere with any of the machinery in any way whatsoever. It will grow quite tall. As of right now, I only have this one wall set up. And you'll notice this gap, and that's just to line up with these pieces here. And I want to make sure that we're getting a lot of these um, from the TNT. So those are just going to push up, and that way we're getting those five at a time. And then we're going to get a lot of the uh, wart, whether it's the crimson wart or the warped wart blocks so um yeah that's about it as they grow the bottom gets pulled out and channeled over there and then the rest of these will just be pressed that way this is another one up here it's, it's disabled um if i add some redstone dust in these will start pulsing as well to take um, more the middle area off and you could have another blast chamber on this side they do grow way up here you're not going to get it all um you're mainly going to get the warped wart and the crimson wart blocks. Glow shrooms, you're going to get a few, but not a whole lot. And the reason behind that is um, there's just not as many. So um, you get a few, uh, but as they're pushing them across, if they're sitting on top of anything, when the TNT goes off, you'll lose them. This is definitely not a lossless system. Uh, I'm sure you could improve on that. This is just something quick and easy to get you a lot of blocks. If you want it more efficient, go for it. But yeah, when you turn this on, the signal will travel up, pushing in the observer clock, and then this whole wall of pistons will start to pulse in and out. Um, aforementioned, it will pop this up to start the dispenser with the bone meal, and then it will send the signal all the way up here to unlock the etho hopper clock, which will then power our TNT duper. This is the center point um, just up here that I marked. So let's see it in action, shall we? Now, fair warning, uh, make sure that you hear an explosion or see the TNT drop. It, it will be loud with all the pistons. We'll actually take the sound all the way down. Now, once we see that TNT fall, we can just start planting. And then this is going to um, automatically grow and remove that bottom part. We just hold down the right click. And as this goes, sometimes they grow fast, sometimes they, there's a delay. You can see how fast they're going. Right there, we had the issue where it updated and turned into another rack. We just hit it with the bone mirror real quick. It's pretty rare. I, this is the first time I've actually seen it. Uh, I built in this contingency for the just in case. So surprise. Um, as this goes, you just, whenever you feel like you're done or you've run out of the mushrooms, you just release. Turn this off. You might have to clear out some of those blocks, but as you can see, it grew up all the way up here, and it's tree on tree on tree. Everything around here still intact. Looking good. And you can see we've got some demolished tree pieces. And as we go into here, hmm, need to get a stare on that, but we've collected uh, quite a number of blocks pretty quickly. <sighs> um, we didn't go through a whole lot of things, so um, do with this what you will. There we go. So yeah, we got um, in that short time over a stack of the wart block and um, almost a half stack of the stems. And that didn't take very long. Uh, if you were to sit at this for a while, that would be pretty impressive. But yeah, you can see this guy, he ended up here. Um, unfortunately, the next TNT will probably blow that up. So um, you won't get a lot of them, but you'll get some. You can always come back in uh, with a hoe and chew this down uh, later if you want to see you know, what is uh, available. But that is the entirety of what this guy does. So uh, just to give you uh, the views again, you know, from the center, 
to the left of center is the dispenser, to the right is the observer. Uh, you can probably pause it where you need to, work out how all of this is going to function. Um, <laughs> the TNT was the hardest part, honestly, getting all of that to work properly. But yeah, um, enjoy. This, uh, by the way, is on 10. And there is everything. I did extend this obsidian wall down so that it doesn't land directly on the wood to help prevent some of that. Um, but the shielding around the bottom is also pretty necessary just in case it does blow deep. You don't want the water washing everything away. And then if you want, you know, funnel this wherever you want, make a sorting system. Um, but the same holds true. If we were to come in here and add in the red. And no, you don't have to uh, clear it because there, it'll just start, you know, um, the red after the blue. It's it's just really that simple. So you let it run for a little bit. You just hold this down and um, you'll get everything you need to get. Yeah, that's probably good. And yeah, they do grow a little bit low sometimes, so you may have to fight your way out. But there we go. You know, it um, it's still clearing away the the blue stuff from underneath. You can see the red is starting to make it way its way through. Yeah, we might actually get that glow shroom on the next explosion. You do get some. It's just really rare. So. Um, but yeah, this is Malsive. Thanks for coming by and checking this out. Go ahead, leave your likes, leave your comments, subscribe if you like. Um, <laughs> I don't post very often, so you're not going to get uh, spammed with anything. But otherwise, enjoy this. Have fun with this. Love you. We'll see you later.